بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ام ڈاکٹر محمد زمان اشرف آئی ویلکم یو آل ان بیسک آرگینک کیمسٹری ٹوڈے آور ٹاپک از اپاکسیڈیشن آف الکینس اپاکسیڈیشن آف الکین از ایکچولی این آکسیڈیشن ری ایکشن آف الکینس ان کیس آف اپاکسیڈیشن دا کاربن کاربن ڈبل بانڈ اٹ از کنورٹیڈ ان ٹو ایپوکسائڈ ایپوکسائڈس دے آر سائکلک ایتھرس so uh, because in this reaction oxygen is added up at carbon carbon double bond that's why this reaction is known as oxidation reaction so a oxidation of alkene it is carried out in the presence of peroxy acids the most commonly used peroxy acids they are known as uh, peroxy acetic acid or peroxy benzoic acid or metachloro peroxy benzoic acid these are frequently used uh, peroxy acids uh, in case of epoxidation reactions of alkenes so uh, the peroxy acids they contain additional oxygen in, uh, as compared to carboxylic acid so carboxylic acid they the, the functional group cooh group is uh, carboxylic acid functional group and then we have an additional uh, oxygen uh, for example uh, we have c o o h it is carboxylic acid and when we have c o o o h so here we have r r benzene or methyl so this is per oxy uh, acids so we have an additional uh, oxygen in case of per oxy acid and this oxygen it actually oxidizes the carbon carbon double bond and it results in the formation of uh, epoxides or uh, cyclic ethers epoxides they are also known as oxidine so let's start with the general reaction mechanism and stereochemistry of epoxidation reactions of alkenes suppose we have alkenes carbon carbon double bond and we have peroxy acids it results in the formation of epoxides plus carboxylic acids so they are epoxides they are cyclic ethers and they are also known as because it is a three member ring having oxygen as an hydroatom so also known as oxyrene it is cyclic uh, ether the smallest ring possible in case of this heterocyclic compounds three member Uh, ring so when uh, we uh, discuss different types of these uh, peroxy acids used in case of this epoxidation reactions of alkenes we have peroxy acetic acid or peroxy benzoic acid or we have metachloro this is known as metachloro peroxy benzoic acid is peroxy benzoic acid and is peroxy acetic acid all these acids they have different utility because of their uh, solubility and their acidity so uh, we can uh, carry out this reaction in different uh, condition so when we discuss the mechanism of this reaction so there are certain bonds which are cleaved during this reaction and there are certain bonds which are formed during this reaction so all the uh, bonds which are cleaved and which are formed they uh, it occurs simultaneously so it means the old bonds bonds they are broken down and the new bonds they are formed in the same step so it means uh, this is somehow concerted type mechanism in which simultaneously all the bonds they are uh, they are cleaved and formed during this reaction we have alkene and here we have oxygen h so it is r c double bond o o oh so it is per oxy acids so uh, these pi electrons attacks at this oxygen and this bond is shifted here and these pi electrons attacks at this hydrogen and this bond is shifted here 
so it means there are certain bonds uh, they uh, which are cleaved and the new bonds they are formed so all these uh, cleavage cleavages of old bond and formation of new bond it occurs simultaneously and we have a transition state during this reaction so this bond it is cleaved here we i can show it as dotted line and one new bond is formed between oxygen and carbon same is the case with this carbon and oxygen bond is formed and this oxygen oxygen bond is cleaved here here this bond and here a new carbon car, carbon oxygen double bond is formed it means one carbon oxygen is uh, bond is present already and here we have r and a new bond is formed here because these pi, these electrons are shifted here and uh, here we have carbon oxygen double bond but one of the carbon oxygen double bond it is cleaved during this reaction and this uh, pi, these pi electrons they are shifted at hydrogen it means a new bond between oxygen and hydrogen is formed in this case and the bond which is present between hydrogen and oxygen is cleaved this is the transition state so when this transition state it is converted into a product then we have carbon carbon and here we have oxygen so epoxides are oxidants or uh, oxidant it is uh, formed along with the formation of acids so this is the mechanism of this uh, reaction okay so this transition state uh, this is actually oxygen okay so this transition state here we can see different bonds they are cleaved and formed at the same time so that's why uh, here we have uh, this epoxide so oxygen it adds on same phase of this carbon carbon uh, double bond so it mean uh, uh, this oxygen it is abstracted by this carbon carbon double bond and this uh, this system ethene or uh, any alkene it is oxidized so uh, that's why this epoxidation is somehow it is known as oxidation reaction uh, oxidation of alkenes and this is the byproduct which is carboxylic acid which is formed uh, in this uh, reaction for example here we have if our reactant is carbon double bond carbon ch3 h h h so it is propene this propene it reacts with again we have oxygen hydrogen oxygen carbon oxygen this r this r it may be you can benzene then it is per oxy benzoic acid and pi electrons attacks here this bond shifted here it attacks here and it attacks here then we have ch3 c c h h this is propylene oxides so this is substituted uh, epoxide here we have one methyl group along with the formation of benzoic acid as by products so this transition state uh, it showed that uh, this oxygen it adds at this carbon carbon double bond and it never disrupt the stereochemistry of this alkene either it is cis or uh, trans so uh, apply this you now uh, we will discuss the stereochemistry in which we can easily explain uh, the attachment of this oxygen at carbon at same side of this carbon carbon double bond and which never uh, disturb the stereochemistry of this alk uh, of any alkene so as i have i have told to you that uh, this uh, oxygen uh, it adds at this carbon carbon double bond and during this uh, attachment or during this addition 
all the bonds they are formed and cleaved at same time are simultaneously so that's why this reaction it retains the stereochemistry of alkene suppose we have ch3 c ch3 h h so it is cis 2 butene cis 2 butene when it reacts with peroxy benzoic acid or per acid or peroxy acid uh, anyone or metachloro peroxy benzoic acid then we have ch3 c ch3 this epoxide is formed so this epoxide it is cis so it means during epoxidation cis alkene is converted into cis epoxide and trans alkene is converted into trans epoxide and this is because of the simultaneous cleavage and formation of old and new bond respectively for example we have trans 2 butene here we have any then we have epoxide and here we have H H CH3 CH3 so this is cis epoxide and it is trans because of the orientation of this these methyl groups these methyl groups they are present on opposite sides so that's why it is trans epoxide and here they are present on same sides that's why it is cis epoxide along with the formation of these benzoic acid uh, as uh, byproduct so it means uh, this uh, stereochemistry of epoxidation reaction it actually retains the geometry of this carbon carbon double bond alkene if it is cis alkene then our product is cis epoxide and if it is trans alkene then our products are trans uh, epoxide you can try this reaction with uh, cyclic alkene also for example just uh, for uh, practicing uh, yourself uh, try this epoxidation reaction with uh, these it is trans uh, hexene okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 so carbon carbon double bond present at position 3 so it means it is trans 3 hexene and we have it is cis so both these compounds they are they have different uh, geometry and you can try the epoxidation reaction at these uh, different alkenes and you then you can observe that oxygen adds on same phase and uh, all bonds they are cleaved and formed at same time so that's why epoxidation reaction they retain the geometry of these starting alkene if alkenes they are trans then our epoxides are also trans and if alkenes they are cis then our epoxides they are also cis same is the case with uh, you can try here like that or suppose we have CH3 CH3 you can try this reaction with this uh, example in this way uh, when you practice these reaction then you can uh, understand well the epoxidation reactions of uh, alkene in short in conclusion the epoxidation reaction is an example of oxidation reactions of alkene in case of epoxidation we oxidize alkene into uh, epoxide or cyclic oxide or cyclic ethers or they are also known as oxirane in case of uh, this three member uh, ring and uh, for uh, to explain the uh, stereochemistry of uh, this epoxidation reaction then uh, during uh, this reaction uh, the, uh, the alkenes they retain their geometry I mean uh, the cis alkene it is converted into cis epoxide and trans alkene they are converted into trans epoxide so this is all about the epoxidation reaction of alkene in my upcoming lecture i will discuss the hyd uh, hydrolysis or the uh, cleavage of these epoxide in the presence of water thank you very much